What's up everybody and welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna take a look at the 2023 Ford F-250 Super Duty. We're gonna see exactly what this full-size work truck is gonna be about. This one is an XL with the STX package. It's around $75,000. Of course, we're finishing this one off in the Oxford white. So let's go ahead, find the hood latch and pop the hood. So what is underneath the hood of a Super Duty? Well, this has a 6.7 liter turbo diesel V8 engine pumping out 475 horsepower with 1,050 pound-feet of torque. Definitely quite a lot of power, especially since it can tow up to 22,000 pounds and payload capacity is around 3,700 pounds. It's definitely pretty capable. We have a 10-speed transmission. You're also gonna see a 3.31 electronically lockable rear differential but this does have a four wheel drive transfer case as well. And then if we reach way up high and grab the hood and go ahead and close her down, let's see about the exterior styling. So this truck has a really cool design. We kind of blacked out the appearance package with that STX package, but we have LED headlights with these massive LED DRLs. And I like how the grill kind of snakes its way through. It's a really unique design. Definitely pretty cool for the 2023 model year. You're also gonna see a massive Ford logo with a forward facing camera and huge areas of mesh to allow tons of cooling. We get a metal front bumper finished off in body color. You got your LED light on the side, massive metal tow hooks, and then a huge air dam just to help with some of that efficiency. The hood has Super Duty stamped onto it. A lot of cool contours as well. Overall, it's a pretty good looking truck. Really good proportions, just a cool design overall. And I love these 20 inch wheels. They have a nice gunmetal gray. You can see the gloss black in the center. Looks like we have manual locks for the front differential, or the axles I should say, and then a nice all-terrain tire. There's a cool trim design for this front fender, and then your F250 STX badge on the side. We have the crew cab on this truck. Overall, pretty good proportions, and then a set of black running boards with Ford written on them. You get black on the door handles, black on the side mirrors. Of course, these are gonna extend. We have Ford on them, and then the two different mirrors. More black trim. And I really like the integrated step into the side. Just makes it a little bit easier to haul things and use this as your work truck. We have the FX4 off-road package, that dual exhaust, and you're gonna see the step in the bumper, and then all of your parking sensors, some more body-colored connections and trailer hitch connection as well. We get Super Duty and the Ford logo on the tailgate as well. Then you have a camera and an LED light. Opening this up, it does not have a soft open, so you gotta hold it as you let it down. We get a painted bed in here with LED lights and several different tie hooks and tow hooks all around it. So overall, definitely a pretty sweet looking truck. This one again, more basic. However, it'll get the job done. And then let's move on to the back seats. You're gonna see gray and black primarily for this interior. You got some vinyl on your armrest, your release handle, and there's a nice cup holder. And then you have three seats back here. So pretty basic again, but again, it'll get the job done. You got some plugs in the center, along with a 12 volt, and this will even fold down for two cup holders. Then you can grab the base of the seats and lift them up, and there's a ton more hidden storage space all for this floor. Definitely a pretty roomy vehicle. And then if I go ahead and hop in it, now I'm five foot 11, and sitting back here, I have a lot of space. So if you are with your crew going on a job site or something, I don't think three people have an issue, honestly, sitting back here. Pretty roomy overall, seats in a good position. Well, there's no center armrest. I mean, again, it's got the space, so not too bad. So now let's hop in the front seat. See what the driver is gonna get. You need that same door panel with a little bit extra storage space. Of course, all of your basic controls. Now this does have manual controls for the seats. You have your recline lever. You can adjust this one for lumbar support. And then we have a grab handle up front to slide it forwards and back. But pretty cool design for the fabric in here and of course the center seat. So hopping in, you can see we have some nice tech in here with the screens and we still have an old turn key. So flipping that around, we can insert that into the ignition, turn the electronics on real quick, and then fire up that power stroke. So you can see the center screen. We get quite a lot of information there that you can configure using this touchpad over here. Hitting the menu icon, and then we can just scroll up and down you can see trip information along with different fuel economy. We have more information for measurements, temperatures, things like that, a calm screen, and then your speedo. And then hitting the menu button again, we can see a few more items that'll come up. Truck information, 
you're gonna notice some lag on the screen. It's a little old school feeling, kind of really, really simple. But again, you know, it just gets the job done basically. Towing information, vehicle maintenance, and things like that. We also have your analog tack and speedometer with some vitals up above, and then cruise control, volume, and different audio controls on the steering wheel as well. Now we have our stock on the right side. You have a manual mode as well as a shift. This is for your gear selector. And then we have turn signal stock on the left with your wiper blades. You have headlights down below, bed dome light, interior dimming, one of the air vents, and then just some plastic across the dashboard with some storage. Now there is a storage cubby over here, a nice size glove box, and you can even turn off that airbag. You got super duty stamp into it as well. We have the exhaust ray along with a shortcut for the camera. And I like the different camera views. You can see that front view and top down. We can go into the full front view. We also have the three quarters, take a look at the bed space. And you also have the rear view and trailer hitch. And then of course, even your wheels. So really nice to see that especially. You have some controls up on top and then your typical infotainment screen with audio, you have phone integration. This even does have the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. And then a few more settings you're able to adjust. And then there's storage down below and physical controls for volume, track. You also have the tuning, climate controls, very easily adjust with all the zones, temperature, and then four wheel drive select with your drive mode. So we have an eco mode as well as the tow and haul. Then you can scroll into all of your other drive modes as well. Underneath that, you have the trailer brake control, plugs and storage, and then a center armrest with cup holders and more storage. And then when you lift this up, we get that third seat in here, which isn't too bad. And there's even hidden storage space all underneath. And then one last look, gray headliner with auxiliaries all up above that. If you want to add lights and winches, then we have our sunglass holder, dome lights, and the mirror. So with all that said, let's go for a spin. All right, guys, so we are setting off in the Super Duty. So like I said, obviously, in this video, this is more of a base model one, probably something you're going to buy to genuinely use as a work truck, maybe a little bit of daily driving and some family stuff with it. So as far as some normal driving, it honestly is still a pretty comfortable truck. While it has the basic suspension, I mean, it's a little bouncy, it's a little stiff, but, you know, being what it is, this is designed to be able to tow a lot of weight, and it feels like it's pretty confident. When you do get up to speed with the power, I mean, you can break loose those tires so quick, just quarter throttling it. I mean, it just packs a punch. So I do like how with this type of torque in the Super Duties, these are quick trucks. You can really get up to speed and you know when you're towing, it won't even be an issue. But you have a really good view out. Visibility is pretty good. All the mirrors do a great job letting you know what's going on. And as expected, visibility is pretty much perfect. You really don't get blind spots in a pickup truck. It's really easy to see around. It is a huge vehicle. You definitely know that you're in something massive. Turning circles pretty large. Obviously, parking is a little bit tight as well. So, of course, if you're not used to a really, really big truck, you know, it might take you just a little bit. But normal driving, it's not bad. It's not bad to rack up miles and just chill in here. The seats have some good padding to them. Ergonomics are pretty easy. And at least you do have pretty good technology. I wasn't expecting the Android Auto and Apple CarPlay. So I like that. Hitting those bumps, you can definitely tell it's a pretty stiff suspension setup. So this one's not really geared towards any extra refinements aside from just being a pretty normal truck. It seems like just a kind of a comfortable truck to be in. You know, the armrests aren't a good place for it. So at least you can easily sit here and be comfortable. And now with this huge, you have to turn the steering wheel so many times. Yeah, turning your radius, we used almost this whole cul-de-sac. So it's definitely got some size to it, but kind of what you would expect on a truck like this. And I like how it is very roomy in here to where you don't feel ever too tight in here or anything like that. You just have kind of a comfortable seating area, things like that. And with that middle seat, of course, it does work for a really good armrest. And then you can easily lift it up. And that honestly is not a bad seat, especially with that extra storage underneath it. The drive modes don't really do too much when you're just kind of driving around town. We're in normal mode right now, getting up to some speed. <laughs> I think the tires spun a little bit or something. This thing's got so much torque. But I like how you can at least tone it down into that eco mode to at least save a little bit of fuel, you know, if you're doing long haul trips or something like this. So I feel like they give you the basics. They give you kind of what you need. Nothing overboard in this one particularly, but it seems to have at least enough drive modes to use this as your work truck, but then a few modes to just kind of tone the truck down and use it like normal. 
So overall, pretty nice truck to drive from a driver's perspective. Pretty easy overall once you get used to the size and it's got some pretty good comforts to it. Yeah.